mapigadhi ya mgombea au gavana uh, ana mazindua manifesto yake hebu tusikie na semanini conferences events and investments and reclaim and rehabilitate the city sports grounds to support Nairobi sporting leagues so judge us that we have improved the economy through ease of doing business promoting Nairobi brand assuring and creating decent job by employing 100 young people in every ward into the Nairobi enterprise apprenticeship program mobility and transport is another area we want to be judged on and held accountable to but most important is creating an effective efficient motivated public service which we are calling e-government that is compliant and that enforces we want to become the first people since the launch of ugatuzi or devolution to make sure that Nairobi has a good audit opinion from the Auditor General. As you know, Nairobi has never gotten, Nairobi has always gotten an adverse opinion from the Auditor General all the years of devolution. Professor Kaloki and myself want to establish an organization with the right human resource practices. First of all, by making sure Nairobi City County workers have a commercial bargaining agreement, that they are paid on time, that they have career development, that they work in clean environment, that they are taken care of, they are, and they stop being bashed as the problem in the city. They are not the problem in the city, they are the solution, and that is what our biggest promise of 100 days is, to really work with them in the city water, the Nairobi city water and sewerage services, and Nairobi city county, to make sure that they are fit for purpose and they are motivated to deliver services to the uh, to the residents of the city. And then we want to relaunch and rebrand the city inspectorate department so that it's a service provider uh, going forward. Lastly is the environment area where we ask that we hold us to account on three things, on clean water, proper sanitation and garbage collection, by building new water sources so that we can match the demand of the city. We hope by the time we are done in five years, supply to Nairobi will exceed a million liters a day from the 500,000 liters a day it is today. We shall connect homes and buildings in high density zones to sewer lines and in incentivize water harvesting, recycling, and solar energy, and ensure timely and effective collection of garbage. We want garbage formula to include frequency of collection, population density, in addition to the weight and distance that is in the formula today for, for garbage collection. I don't know how many of you know, but garbage payment in Nairobi today is, based, is paid on the basis of how heavy the garbage is and the farthest it is from the garbage dump. So that is incentivizing the garbage collector to collect it farthest from Dandora and wait until it's heaviest to take it there. So that's why garbage is never collected in Marikiti, in the markets, in low income and informal settlements. And we want garbage collection to be the work of the residents of the city. Garbage collection is big business and we want to make sure uh, that, that we fix the cleanliness uh, of the city that way. Then proper urban planning and zoning and land use. The professional called the urban planner will be at the heart of Nairobi. We are adopting, without saying it, the Nairobi Integrated Urban Master Plan. The master plan of Nairobi is something we are coming to execute and bring to life. It has yet been brought to life in an aggregated way. And we want to make sure that not only do we do that, but we launch a Nairobi electronic address. Every plot of land in Nairobi will have an electronic address. And hopefully, by the time we are done, title deeds. Then entrench what councils and residents association in our government to support zoning and land use regulation. On land, you play, you live, and you work in it. And the people of Nairobi will agree the spaces to live in, the spaces to work in, and the spaces to play in. We want to clean and protect the Nairobi River system and its tributaries to make sure that that is not where we send our sewer, but that is where we clean, so that we can invite those spaces to be, to, um, to be green spaces in the city. We want to incentivize renewable energy and then accelerate the construction of affordable housing through proper uh, public participation and regularize buildings without permits and and again, once again, uh, issue title deeds. Then we, we want to enhance safety and security and disaster management, make the city resilient, containing pollution of air, water, noise, increasing 
fire and ambulance capacity in all wards, creating a disaster preparedness mechanism in every ward, and ensure from the skies Nairobi is lit up, ensure street lightings, especially in public spaces, schools, markets, informal settlements, places where people go for, to do us, we will make sure we do that. On mobility of, on, on transport, I should have highlighted that the most important mobility and transport we are focusing on is pedestrianizing the central business district and making sure even in the estates, Nairobians walk a lot more, not only for public health, but we live in a very small city space. Nairobi is only 696 square kilometers. You can literally walk from one end of Nairobi to the other as exercise um, in, in, a, in a day. And we want to make sure we connect Nairobi through pavements, through walkways, through covered storm drains, uh, because that has been a big ask of the Nairobi to Navio Itaka. Let me close by saying, Professor Kaloki and myself, and you have heard from the Azimio La Umoja, we have borrowed heavily from the Azimio La Umoja manifesto that promised a pillar of social protection. And on the pillar of social protection, we are going to create a community chest to make sure we leave no one behind. When you read our manifesto, you'll see something called the Nairobi Foundation. It is a foundation we seek to create a community chest where we provide a framework and a model for philanthropists to help the county deal with people who have been left behind. We have issues of mental health in the city. We have issues of drug addicts in the city. We have issues of street families. We have a responsibility to feed the weakest amongst us. That responsibility will be taken over through our social protection programs, which are a core part of what we do. If people forget what we do, uh, if people forget the real essence of Nairobi to Navio Itaka, it is to rebalance the equation of a city within a city. We can't have a city where on one side we are flower festooned, treading, and leafy, and one side of the city that is thirsty, dry, angry, and the other side is wet, green, and hopeful. We need to come together under the theme of Azimio La Umoja because that's the essence of the political platform that we stand on. Thank you so very much. Happy to take any questions that you may have. Thanks for turning out. And we, this was essentially for the media. We continue to distribute our manifesto, take it to the people who gave it to us, in the markets, in the clubs, in the churches, in the social halls, in the traffic, in the places where people live. And thank you very much for giving us an opportunity to extrapolate it to the, not only Nairobians, but the people of Kenya. Um, because the people of Kenya are interested in Nairobi, just like Nairobi. Just by building 150 markets, in addition to the 47, what we are pronouncing ourselves is that, that we shall almost quadruple the demand for food and agriculture that will reverberate across the borders of Kenya. Goats from the northeastern side, tea from the Rift Valley, potatoes from uh, central Kenya, bananas from the eastern side, peas from the lower eastern side. All the things you grow, Nairobi is the heart. This is the true front porch. And I would like to sit down by saying this. The debate is not so much what needs to be done and how it needs to be done. We capture that well here. The contest is about the leader who will get it done. Will you choose the usual, normal, political type? Or will you go for the fresh, professional, get it done, get the job done type of politics? Or do you want the usual political, um, you know, um, the usual political play? This election is a census between the Nairobians who like politics for politics sake and Nairobians who like politics for impact sake. Your vote will be a vote on impact or a vote on politics as usual. The choice will be made on 9th of August 2022 and I have no doubt we have listened to Nairobi, to the Nairobians. They have said to Navio Itaka and they want a team, a leadership with integrity, a leadership with competence, to get it done. Give us a chance, five years. Thank you very much for listening to me.